welcome back to Sensibly Frugal Living. I hope you're having a really great day today. Today I'm going to do a little tutorial on how to make gift bags and envelopes. If you watch my haul video, I did mention that I was going to do this video when I um, showed you the craft paper that I got at a bargain price. So here we are. First I'm going to make a gift bag. They are super simple. If I can make them, anyone can make them. Um, the My paper's square, but I suppose you could use any shape paper. Um, the smaller the paper, the smaller the gift bag and vice versa. So you start off by folding in the edges. Make sure they overlap slightly because you need somewhere to put your tape. Keep them nice and secure. Make your edges nice and straight. The straighter the edge, the nicer the look of the gift bag at the end. So once you've got it all lined up and straight, then you make sure you secure it well with some sticky tape. I suppose you could use glue or a hot glue gun if you've got one, but I've got tape. And it works just fine so you make sure you stick it down then with the bottom you fold it up and the smaller the fold like the smaller the fold the smaller the area of your gift bag so the smaller item you put in it so I've gone for about two inches I'd say you fold the corners in of your fold so it looks like a diamond and then you fold the top and bottom of the diamond in I know I'm not explaining this very well, but if you watch, you'll see what I mean. And you want, again, you want your creases nice and sharp. And it just, it makes it look better as well with the nice edges. And then you secure it with tape. If you've got a heavier item, make sure you really secure it with your tape. I wouldn't advise putting heavy items in gift bags, really. But you can put whatever you want in them. You open it up, make sure you push out the creases. And there you have it, you have a little gift bag ready to go. And these are great if you've run out of wrapping paper or gift bags, you can do this even with A4 piece of paper. Just get your child or you can draw on it if you want to and make one of these. I folded it in there like a little present and I'm gonna secure it with a bit of tape and that's, that's job done. I am going to do another one just to show you. I'll stop talking for that, play a bit of music so you can concentrate. I'm going to fold the top a little differently you'll see why later on in the video I'm just going to fold it over and I've got a little nifty trick which I like to do with my gift bags that I make next we're going to make an envelope and it may sound tricky but envelopes are super super easy to make so you get your square it has to be square for an envelope well the ones I make um, fold them in half diagonally fold them in half again Make sure again your lines are nice and crisp, especially with the envelope, you really need that. So you've got it in front of you now, like a kite. You fold the outer left and right into the middle. Again, make sure you make it nice and tidy, nice straight lines. Fold the other one up as so. And then this is the bit, open that back up. You fold that bottom bit so the point touches the top. Again, I know I'm 
I'm not articulating this very well, but if you watch what I'm doing, you'll understand. Now you can see it's forming a bit more of an envelope shape. What you do is the little triangle bit, you fold it, nice straight line, in line with the two diagonal edges there of your envelope. Then you fold it back in on itself. I use a little bit of glue just to make it sturdy on the edges here. I don't find just folding it is enough. Maybe if I was better at this, I might do, but no, I have to have a bit of glue. Then you fold that in, and this is what keeps your envelope together. Oh, sorry if you can hear that. I've got the postman delivering a parcel very noisily outside. Right, so make sure it's all secure. And voila, you have got an envelope. It really is that simple. And a pretty envelope at that. I just think they look lovely. So the smaller the square, the smaller the envelope. And they're just so simple to make. So easy and simple to make. And here I'm doing it quick speed. So you can watch the process again. They really are so simple. Once I learned how, I was away. Show me it once and I did it. But like I said, if I can do it, anyone can do it. These are perfect if you need an envelope for whatever reason or just to gift things in. I think they, they make beautiful gift bags. They act like a gift bag, don't they? And they're just so pretty and you can use anything. You can even use, if you have wrapping paper, you can use wrapping paper. So if you have Christmas wrapping paper, you can make Christmas envelopes and you can put money cards in them, vouchers. Now, this is the little trick that I like to do. So the one I folded over there, see I folded it too thick you'll see in a minute my um, hole punches won't handle that if you've got a big hole punch then yeah no mine I needed to unfold it one then so you hole punch it got your little holes are you seeing where I'm going with this now <laughs> so you got holes I'm just I'm here showing you the holes <laughs> yep yep we see there's two holes there carry on girl now you take some ribbon, any ribbon you've got, even a bit of string. This is the um, just basically gift ribbon. And you make yourself a little handle. It also ties it up. And I just think this looks so effective and it's so cute. So here's me making my little handle. I just love this. It's so effective and so cheap to do. And I, I would like to get a little gift in one of them. I'd be quite happy to receive a little gift in a little handmade gift bag. And you've put the effort in. It's the thought that counts and the effort. How cute is that? And with it coming up to the end of school, they're perfect to put little teacher gifts in. So here I am just showing you what I've made. So it really is that easy. So now I've got two envelopes and I've got two gift bags. I hope that my poor, my poor tutorial skills have helped you <laughs> in some way. <laughs> and thank you for watching. See you next time.